I don't actually have small man syndrome. No, really, I don't. But I have been enjoying the attention that comes from driving one of these big yank pickups. Egotistical statements aside, they do actually have their practical uses. Got a big boat, a plant trailer, a gooseneck horse float. One of these babies may actually be what you're after because they'll tow a big load all day long. Or maybe you just actually want one. The thing is, none of these trucks are actually sold here by their manufacturers, as none of them are actually right-hand drive vehicles. The badge on the grill may say Ford, Chef or Ram, but the reality is that these trucks have to be substantially remanufactured before they can be sold on the Australian market. So we've got examples of the big American 3 right here. The Ford F250 Super Duty, the Ram 2500 and the GMC Denali 2500. And they've all been converted to right-hand drive by different companies. The Ford is from Harrison F Trucks, the Ram is from American Special Vehicles, and the Chev is from Performax International. All of these converters have full volume compliance, which essentially means that the government recognises them as vehicle manufacturers. VDC have factory approved modification status from Ford, ASV has factory blessing for its Ram conversion, which even uses a right hand steering box from the factory supplier, and Performax has its own multi-branded conversion approach. But I want to see how these big brutes handle on a variety of road surfaces, as well as taking a trailer along for a ride. So the Ford F250 Super Duty is the power and torque king of this bunch. This V8 engine's a real brute. It's a 6.7 litre power stroke V8. It's got 440 horsepower and 1166 newton metres of torque. It will actually tow up to seven and a half tonne with the right hitch. So the ASV Ram is a new kid on the block. It was released here last year. It uses a Cummins 6 for power, unlike the others, which are both V8s. Puts out 375 horsepower and 1,080 newton metres of torque. And with right hitch, will tow just under seven tonne. So the GMC, has a 402 horsepower, 6.6 .6 litre V8 that puts out 1,040 newton metres and it can tow up to six and a half tonne. The GMC is like the premium brand for the Chevy truck lineup, so this one's got a few more Luxo bells and whistles and a vibrating seat that lets you know if you're going over a white line. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The Ram feels a little bit more sensible than the others. It's a little less garish and uh, actually feels a little bit smaller, even though it's actually not. Off-road, these trucks really aren't that practical. They're a little too wide for most bush tracks, but in the sand and mud, these heavy brutes should be more than capable of holding their own. But really, towing is what these trucks are all about. And the Ram does an awesome job considering it's got the least amount of power and torque in this company. The Ford's a brute, it'll tow anything and it's handled itself really well. Probably the best all-rounder as far as towing goes is the Chevy, which really surprised me. Engine braking, suspension, handling with the load on, it really surprised me. So we've spent a couple of days with these blinged up beasties and they may not be practical for the urban environment and they're expensive. But if you've got a very big load to tow, one of these may be the answer. After all, sometimes maybe size does matter. <laughs>